Hey guys, so I recently did a collab with um, the artist Iravel and if you guys don't know her channel or her Instagram or her artwork, you should check it out. I'm going to leave links in the description box below as well as some links on the screen. So we've been planning this collab for a really long time. It's been a couple of months now. Um, we've just been coming up with the concept and painting for a long time and most of the time we were collabing together, it was building this idea on what we were going to paint. So collabing with Ira was really, really fun. She's so, so nice and um, just really, really amazing to work with because initially we had a lot of different ideas for this collab and seeing how much those ideas changed over um, like email and just discussing it, really just shows how much of a creative person she is and I really really respect her art, I really love her art so um, definitely go check it out if you guys don't know about it which I doubt her art is so great so we decided to do a half and half collab where um, she paints one half and I paint the other half so we had a, a lot of different ideas, but we um, ended up deciding that Ira would paint a house or town village scene while I paint an underwater scene. And a little more information about what I'm actually doing on screen right now. I've covered all of the tiny fishes with masking fluid. The greenish, like waxy thing that you see on some of the fishes, um, that's masking fluid. And I just put that on places where I knew um, I would have a hard time like keeping that detail alive during the painting I would have definitely painted over a lot of those details so I'm just using masking fluid to kind of make sure that I don't paint over it For this painting, I really wanted to work in layers, so you're going to see me doing that just to build more information and to add more detail as I go along. I didn't have a set plan on what I was going to paint. I knew that I wanted an underwater scene with um, fishes going towards the bucket that um, is connected to Ira's town, but that was it. Um, I didn't have a plan on what the coral was going to look like, what the fishes were going to look like, etc. So you're kind of seeing me thinking as I go along painting, if that makes sense. This collab I would describe was a huge learning experience because I think I learned a lot from Ira and a lot from working with other artists. I don't usually collab with artists. I usually don't ask people to do collabs, but I really, really wanted to do a collab with her just because I really admired her art. I really respected it. And um, I just thought it would be really fun. So I didn't really know what it was like working with a fellow artist until we worked together. And seeing how our concept and how our paintings changed with discussion and just a lot of input from each other really gave me an idea on how to keep developing my paintings and not just painting what I immediately think. So I think that's really important. I think a lot of good um, changes come from developing and just going back and thinking about how you can change your art piece to make it better. So here I am going in with my second layer. I'm trying to keep it lighter on the top and more darker slash deep on the bottom and I'm really going in and trying to get all the de details that I can. Um, so more information about the tools that I'm using. The brush that you'll find me using the most is a size 10 Daiso brush. So just a really cheap brush that I got from Daiso as a set with a bunch of other brushes. The paper that I'm using is Arch's hot press paper. The tape on the border is just some washi tape that I got at Daiso. And the paint that I'm using is Magello's Mission Gold watercolors. Your way 
so something that I was straying away from during this whole process was having our two pieces compete with each other. What I mean by that is my piece is not complete without her piece. I think they merge together really well and I think they complement each other and they're kind of meant to be together. The reason why I'm so excited to show you guys this collab is because we've been working on this uh, collab for a really long time and I think just seeing them merge together is something really special. Focus on what's real, man.
now I'm taking off the masking fluid so I can go into more detail with those fishes. And I wasn't sure how I wanted to color the fish. I decided that like the ocean around it, I was only going to have few spots of warm colors. So just a few colors like red and orange that would appear on the fish, but it wouldn't really overwhelm the ocean scene because I feel like there's a lot going on in that ocean already that I didn't want the fishes to actually detract from that detail. So what you're seeing here right now is me painting the top of the water and that gif 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 that you see on my phone is from um, BM Puppycat. It was part of one of their scenes and I really liked how the water looked and wanted to recreate that in my painting.